Welcome children and everyone else. Let's all move up close here in our cozy worship circle. There are so many of us in so many different places, but we're together for worship just the same. Today, I want to tell you about a man named Fred Rogers. Mr. Rogers loved children the way God loves children, just the way they are. I wonder, do you know that God loves you just the way you are too? When I was young, I watched Mr. Rogers' TV show. I learned a lot from him. Then one day, some really scary things happened in the news. I wonder, have you ever noticed scary things happening in the news? Well, when scary things were happening in the news, I wondered, will Mr. Rogers know what to do? Well, he did. Mr. Rogers said, when scary things happen in the news, look for the helpers. You'll always find people helping. We don't always talk about it, but when Jesus was preaching, life was pretty scary for many people. A bad man was in charge. People hoped Jesus would form an army with weapons and make that bad man go away. But Jesus didn't do that. Jesus didn't build an army to make that bad man go away. Jesus looked for helpers. Jesus knew God's good news could change everything, not just one bad man. He was looking for helpers who also believed good news could change everything too. Let's listen to today's Bible story. Listen for who Jesus finds to be his helpers. Jesus went into Galilee and proclaimed God's good news. He said the time has come. The kingdom of God is near. Turn toward God and believe the good news. He walked along the Sea of Galilee. He noticed two brothers, Simon and Andrew, who were throwing a net into the sea because they were fishermen. Jesus said to them, follow me and I will turn you into fishers of people. They left their nets immediately and followed Jesus. Going on a little further, he saw two more brothers, James and John, the sons of Zebedee. They were in their boat mending nets. Immediately he called them. They left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and they followed Jesus. In this story, Jesus watches fishermen fishing. He thinks, hmm, those would be good helpers. He tells them they can help spread God's good news that changes everything. The fishermen believe him. They say yes when he asks them to be his helpers. You know, Pastor Linda is good at many things. She's a good preacher. She can knit blankets. She's very good at jigsaw puzzles. Pastor Linda even knows how to fish. When Pastor Linda got the chance to be a helper, she said yes. She said yes, she would help to spread good news that God's love is for everyone. So Pastor Linda is helping us still gather for worship together, even now, when many things have changed around us in the pandemic. Pastor Linda is a helper. I wonder, do you notice any other helpers? Teachers are helpers. Nurses and doctors are helpers. Firefighters, police officers, postal workers truck drivers, road builders, grocery store workers. Ordinary people can be helpers. People like James and John and Simon and Andrew, these were ordinary people too, but they said yes when Jesus asked them to be his helpers. I wonder, what might you say if Jesus asked you to help spread God's good news? I wonder. I wonder if you're already spreading good news. 
Hmm. I wonder. Let's pray. I'll say a line and then you echo. Oh God, your good news makes us glad. You have so much love for us. You have so much love for everyone. even when we see scary things, sad things, even violent things. We know your strong love surrounds us. We see your strong love in people who help us. And when we need to be helpers too, Please help us say yes. Help your love make us strong. Help us be helpers who show the whole world that your strong love is for everyone. Amen. May God bless and keep you now and always, children. Now, I wonder what Pastor Linda has been thinking about this story. I wonder if she will tell us about fishing. Let's listen for good news with our ears and our minds and our open hearts.